1253. Saying hello from New York. Um, today I received a package. I ordered this a few days ago. I didn't think it happened yet, but it uh, came priority mail. You might even pay for it in priority mail. And, uh, it's a shrade. There's been a lot of buzz about the shrades this year, about uh, the quality and the workmanship that's been going into them, and also the uh, quality of the tool and uh, for uh, doing bushcrafting and survival. Um, I uh, subscribe to uh, Chris Tanner's uh, channel which is um, Prepared Mind 101 and he seems to be quite the knife buff and uh, also um, definitely aware of quality and uh, budget because these are not really super expensive knives but the quality seems really high um, I have a couple other shrades and uh, I've always been very pleased with them this is the shrade 42 which was um, just released I would say within the last month or so got mine, I uh, ordered mine through Amazon, and uh, I think it's really nice, it doesn't come wrapped, it didn't even come with silicone, it's bad, but it's okay, nice quality, I'm not particularly big on black, uh, it comes as a right hand sheath, I think there's no left hand sheath. For it. it has a, a synthetic handle. Uh, nice. You can see the, the sheath is well made. Looks like it's a 7 8 ounce leather. Uh, I, use, I usually use 8 9, but I, I've recently gone down to a 7 8 ounce. It's a little easier to work with. It's just like what they show on the videos. Got a nice tight fit. It's a curved blade. It's coated. It's a nice soft light coating. Uh, it, it's a flat grind, and it goes to a secondary bevel, which uh, I, I like secondary bevels on knives. Easy to sharpen, very sharp, extremely. Um, I think it's three, I think it's about a four and a quarter inch blade. Four and a half inch handle. Nice, nice weight. It is a nice, definitely has a nice handle, I have to say. Good choil. It doesn't let your hand slip forward. Same with this over here, it kind of goes up. It's thicker in the middle, where your hand has the grip. Nice. I have a fairly large hand. Uh, it's got some nice jimping, not too big, so it doesn't irritate. And here's like a nice jimping uh, and exposed metal on the handle. It's a full tang, as you can see. Nice quality. Nice, very nice. The edge is very sharp, so it'll probably still. Knight of Ferris rod. Um, I'm very impressed. 
he said it was a nice knife. And I've seen a few interviews, uh, a few reviews on this knife, besides Chris Tanner's uh, Prepared Mind 101. Uh, a few other guys have done it. I can't remember offhand. But, uh, I mean, I paid a little over 54 plus shipping and handling. And uh, I got it within, a, within four days, five days, something like that. It's pretty fast. I like it. I don't know the details about who designed it and what the material is, but I just I know it's uh, pretty grippy. And they say if it gets wet, it uh, seems to hold really well. Very nice, good quality. And uh, again, I. You really feel the quality of the of the sheath is really nice, very nice quality. It's not one of the fold over kind, which is what I usually make. It's a, it's a layered sheath. It's both on layers. So you can see that there's a, the bottom layer which uh, folds over the belt loop, which tucks in. Then there's the middle layer, which is actually starts off with two layers. Yeah, that's one layer. Which protects the knife from cutting the, the, the uh, threading. And then there's the top layer. And, uh, Quality, very nice, light, well made, light. It looks like it's a really good work knife, and they don't mind beating it up because it wasn't really expensive. Just a little over fifty bucks. Fits really well in the sheath. And uh, I don't usually do these kind of reviews with the, with the wood, but I'm going to, because I heard such good things about it. Very nice, yes, it's very sharp. This is a piece of white birch, which is pretty hard wood. And it just bites right into there. Beautiful, sharp. I usually, these knives don't usually come this sharp. Very nice, very sharp. Nice big bite. I guess in a softer wood, it'll make better feather sticking. This wood has been drying for about two years. Uh, I'm gonna use it to make a small spoon because of the shape. Great for whittling. Really good. Nice. It's a nice clean cut. I don't know if I can get this into. Very good for whittling or carving. You got the point, you got this edge, a rounding, and this little belly just gets in there. Very good. Very good knife. Very pleased. I give it a thumbs up. I give it a, I give it a 
a 9 out of 10. The only thing it's missing is a ferrous rod holder. But I'm very pleased with it. Good snap, nice and tight, good quality, well made. Good bushcrafting knife, good survival knife.